Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to enable user dir module on Apache 2 with my Ubuntu server. I'll create my personal web page with my logo and I will also create a private folder with special restricted permissions for my user. I, I will need a user and a password to get in this special folder. But before that, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now, let's do it! Ok, let's start by uh, use A2EN mod to enable user dir module on Apache 2. After that we will need to restart the service use systemctl restart apache2 to do that and you can also check its status by using the same command with status option so as you can see apache2 service restarted properly no now let's uh, proceed so now we will go to the apache2 uh, folder so i can show you the modules that we have enabled at this point you know by uh, looking at the structure we have the mods enabled folder I'm uh, getting into the folder to show you that at this point user dir module is enabled so this is how you check that it is really enabled after you do the comment okay now let's go to the available folder to show you the amount of modules you have available to use for other purposes okay so today we are focused on user dir module and now let me open apache2.conf file so i can show you how apache2 includes all these files in its uh, configuration so as you can see these directives are here to tell Apache 2 to include these modules from that specific folder. Okay, now let's go to my personal dir and uh, from here I will start taking care of all the specific personal folder. So I'm using root account but I'm entering rsmedias user account to take care of all the file and folder structure. I have created a public HTML folder that will uh, allow us to store web data and changed its uh, permissions so that RS Media's user and group are the owners of uh, the folder. Let's get into the public underscore HTML folder and create a new index HTML file. A very simple structure with the basic HTML tags main tag the body let me use uh, an image file I have created for this experiment today I have called it Linux underscore tech underscore school underscore logo dot PNG and after I'm done I am closing my body and my HTML. Okay, let's save the file and get out of the editor, exit the editor. And now I am changing also the ownership of this index.html. So this is a public file. So you just have to have uh, public uh, read permissions. Now I am using my Mac OS terminal to copy my image file to my server. I'm using SCP for SSH file transfer. I have another video you can watch uh, about Ubuntu server install and SSH remote connection. Check that video so you can learn how to enable this service. So I'm putting the path, the local path and remote path of the file my passwords and the copy uh, has been made. I will use ls 
here on the server so you can see that the file is already available in our server so if I bring my browser I will put now special address for my private web page on the server now let's create a private folder because this special subfolder this private folder will have restricted access only RS medias will have the permissions for uh, this folder so I have created the folder I have given ownership and also permissions now I am entering it and I need to add it uh, also a simple HTML file much simpler this time only HTML tag also a body and a paragraph so I can call it that it, it is my private folder okay end of paragraph let's close the other tags the body and the HTML so we are done let's save the file and exit the editor now let's check that everything is okay I will also change ownership of this file okay now I need to take care of the privacy of the folder by using the .ht access file that will enable the use of authentication in this folder so let me put the file name and enter the editor okay so this is the main configuration all the directives I have previously copied and pasted here and as you can see I am ready to proceed save the file exit the editor and now let's create the password wd minus c to create a new file following the path to the authentication file so these two files are located in the folder that you need to protect okay the password file will be called dot ht pass wd following the username you need to add to this file create the new password repeat it confirm and we are ready to authenticate this user when he tries to log in through the browser so now let's leave this folder check that the private folder exists and let's take care of the access we need for that special moment before the user is authenticated so i will have read and execute permissions to group and other users and after that i will test this configuration now let's go to the browser i'll put my private address my username and password and after i sign in you can see that i am already in my private folder okay guys so that's it for today i hope you have enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos i'll be publishing and thank you all take care bye bye